Hey guys, it is Gene. I had a question about the yaw damper and I jumped into Microsoft Flight Simulator and the Coronado PC-12 here, flying over uh, southern Washington state. Thought I'd give you a little explanation of the yaw damper and this is true not only of the yaw damper in the PC-12, but uh, really in any airplane. So what does the yaw damper do? Well, we have a button for it right here. YD stands for yaw damper. I have it engaged right now and you can see up on the scoreboard here that it is engaged. The yaw damper can be engaged or disengaged independent of the autopilot. So I can turn it off now, I can turn it back on and it doesn't affect the autopilot operation. I can also have the autopilot off and have the yaw damper on as well. So the yaw damper is pretty simple. It's a servo that applies inputs to the rudder in response to lateral G's. Uh, lateral G's as a fancy way of saying yaw, which is when the tail wags left and right. So when the tail wags, there's an accelerometer in the airplane that can sense that lateral G, and the yaw damper, when it's engaged, will apply a little bit of rudder input to offset that tail wag. So it just keeps the tail from wagging. Uh, so it just makes for a more stable and comfortable ride. Um, it's not necessarily a huge deal if we get a little bit of tail wag, but it, it, it can be a little bit uncomfortable for people, especially in the back of the airplane, if that's happening. Uh, and then in swept wing airplanes that are uh, more susceptible to Dutch roll, uh, it is very important to have that engaged. And uh, if you don't know what Dutch roll is, uh, the simplest way of explaining it is that the roll stability is higher than the yaw stability in the airplane. So if the airplane is disturbed by turbulence and the wings roll and there's a little bit of yaw, the wings will roll themselves back to level before the tail has had a chance to return to its neutral position, which will induce a series of oscillating overcorrections. That's called Dutch roll. And the yaw damper is there to prevent that from happening. So if it senses yaw, it'll just push the rudder in the opposite direction to keep that tail nice and straight. So that's the yaw damper. So it's gotta be off for takeoff and landing. We don't want it on during takeoff and landing because um, it will actually fight us to maintain the center line of the runway. So as we're rolling down the runway on takeoff or landing, we're using the rudder pedals to, to keep the airplane aligned with the runway. And if the yaw damper is on, it's sensing these little uh, lateral G's and it's trying to make its inputs that it thinks is best. And it can actually be fighting against us and uh, it can cause a loss of control. It's bad news. And uh, there have been people that have forgotten to uh, to disengage the yaw damp on short final and uh, landed with it on and they said uh, you only do that once because uh, it's quite unpleasant <laughs> so um, normally we'll engage it at about uh, anywhere between 100 and maybe 400 feet uh, after takeoff and then disengage it on short final and that's true of uh, pretty much any airplane that has a yaw damp all right that's it guys thank you for the question and uh, i'll see you guys on the next video